Susan. Hi, welcome to this new episode of the series Bleak Bird. But it, today we're actually in blue water, and uh, you might see why it's got its name. Don't look over there because it looks weird. <laughs> there isn't much here because I haven't built much here. But who is here in this very, very cheap apartment building uh, is Krista Gode, who we're gonna check in on today. Now, she is newly separated from Glenn here, who she still wishes to marry. So we'll see about doing that. She also wants to be best friends forever with the professor. She has gone on uh, several dates with him and she has a crush on him, but she's not like feeling the thing for him. She is like still wanting to marry Glenn. Uh, I had that unlocked because I didn't know if it would change. It is Friday night and she just got off work as a campaign worker and uh, she has <laughs> very good uh, motives here. I don't I think that was due to a reset actually. Oops. These shuffle to it exactly the same. <laughs> so now she wants to learn a skill point. I don't know what she could do with that. She doesn't need anything for work, but and she doesn't have any skill points. Uh, so we'll just have her practice cool. speech yes, over here. Crap, and wow. then, like, what is her actual relationship with Glenn? She doesn't know him. Where is he? There it is. Okay, so like she likes Glenn pretty much, I think. She's gonna try and call him and see how that goes. I think he's talk a little bit. They are best friends forever. But what happened was she got scared when they were getting married. She she is expecting his baby, and she, so she has left, and he like didn't know what to do, and she has like she had no money, but she then she went to a date with the professor, and somehow they found this really big statue, and he sold it for her and sent her the money, so now she got a little bit of funds. So she could actually get a better apartment because this, as you can see, it's very small. He, she can't have a baby here. Um, not yeah, well, anyway. <laughs> now she wants to buy a birdcage. All right. I just want to see like what they talk about and how how it goes. And I'm talking about nothing uh, about games, apparently. Hey, do you like sports and games and stuff? Because I do. All right, now she talks about jewelry and he doesn't like that. Okay. Well, I think it seems to go well, so maybe he, maybe she asks him on a date. Like he didn't yell at her on the phone, so maybe they can go out somewhere and see if she can. No, I don't think so. Oh, he didn't want that. Well, that's too bad. Okay, but I think. Uh, she should spend the night by moving because this apartment really won't do like she's not close to moving in with anyone so she was probably going to have the baby alone and she can't have it in here and she does have a bit of money now uh, my rule is <laughs> I have rules for this uh, you take the money they have divided by 10 and that is the the rent that they can afford. To buy a lot, this is a new rule that didn't apply to the previous sims, but <laughs> to buy a lot you need to have at least 20,000 or afford uh, an existing house. Uh, so if you want to buy an empty lot you had, you need 20,000 or the city council won't let you because they don't think that you will be able to build something good on there and then support the taxes. Find own place. Oh, maybe I should... I need to do that from the neighborhood view, don't I? Yeah, okay. I don't think she had anything I wanted to save, so... Move family. There, we're gonna move her, because she has quite more money. Uh, move her to the bin, yes. And now I can see she has 7,000, so she could afford rent for 700. Um, so actually, I'm gonna check in Pleasant City and see if... 
there is an apartment for her, but I, I don't think so. But we're gonna check. No, because she needs 10,000 to move in here. So there's there's nothing. Maybe the little bigger apartments uh, in here is is taken actually. But she will um, move in. She, she she's gonna take what she can get. Uh, and I think you need to move them out like this before you can move them to another apartment. You can't just select another door. And it's going to be morning now. It's fine. But this means it will be Saturday morning after I fix it. But her needs were um, pretty high to begin with. So see this is taken. This is 400 a week and it's big enough for her and the baby. So I think we should try and have that. All of these are very small. Uh, and this I believe is too expensive. No, it's not. She can afford this. Well, that's nice. Just barely, but let, let's uh, let's rent that one. Oh, she, now she wants a baby. Well, I'm gonna lock that in for her because I'm not too hopeful about the other stuff. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. I have uh, thought this through uh, carefully. <laughs> Is she gonna greet the landlord now? There, now it's Saturday morning and she has moved into this uh, big, bigger apartment where she can actually, you know, fit both herself and the baby. It's got a little bit of a weird layout, but <laughs> that's because I built it. <laughs> so uh, I think we should put the computer somewhere, don't you? And I think we're gonna have a hacked computer. There, now she has a bed and a computer. And I'm gonna sell this computer because we don't need it. There. And she can deposit 4,000 simoleons, so she might get some some interest out of that, um, and that would be good for her. Like once the baby is here, we're gonna have to buy a crib and stuff. So she is she's gonna try and save up. Oh, and now we have uh, neighbors trying to greet us. Uh, hello, neighbors. Are you able to get up here? Yeah, we'll see if they <laughs> if they can get up here. Uh, does she have a bathroom? Oh, I forgot to put the bathroom in this. <laughs> all right. Are we we are not allowed to build walls at all? No. Okay. What are we going to do with the bathroom situation? Oh, like I I am am I going to make this is not into a very big bathroom or what? Or make this into the bedroom? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> like this this apartment. It's not good. <laughs> Krista, what have you done? Um, yeah, okay, well, we we'll just have to... I mean, at this point I don't know what else to do. I forgot to put a bathroom. <laughs> so I don't want to put it outside, so it's it's in the... There should be a wall here. <laughs> but there's not. Okay, so then there is a bathroom. So I guess we'll treat this entire room as a bathroom while not, no one is sleeping in it. Yeah, the worst thing is I didn't save this apartment lot uh, before uh, starting moving sims in and I don't think you're allowed I think uh, packing apartment lots with sims in them can cause corruption in games or something I don't really know and uh, once sims live in here you're not allowed to build anymore like at all I mean, maybe there's sheets. I'll, I'll look into that until next time. Uh, anyway, uh, for now we're just gonna have it like this. It's awful. Here's all the neighbors. Hello, Tore Ramstedt. Okay. Uh, oh, she thinks uh, he's kind of hot. Go down and talk to them quickly while your needs are fairly high and you ha haven't started work yet. Oh my goodness, she's late to work, isn't she? Oh dear. I always miss that. So she can just walk to work now and we can always um, like click doors and to introduce to neighbors later. So we don't need the welcoming party, really. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Krista, stop it. Go here. Can you go there? Oh, they're in the way, that's why. Move, please. Thank you. Okay, now 
and then walk to work. <laughs> Otherwise, she was going to go up the elevator and down the ladder down here. Uh, not ladder, stairs over over there. That's just for fire safety. <laughs> the routing is really annoying sometimes. All right, Krista is just arriving back from work. She has aged up and she is now 46 years old and having her first baby. That's really late. What are you gonna do? I mean, she is, uh, she has got some wrinkles and stuff. Oh, she brought a friend home from work and she got promoted. That's awesome. So I'm gonna note her new salary in my spreadsheet just for tax purposes. Now, Krista has been promoted to intern. Start out running errands to the SimCity controller and try to work your way up to getting lunch for the mayor. Low pay, long hours. You'll need lots of charisma to advance in politics. Uh, she now works still from 9 a.m. But now she gets off at 3, so that's uh, that's convenient. Oh, she got to call a nanny. Yeah, uh, when she has the baby. She doesn't need one now. And she brought this last over. Esther, who are you? I've never seen you before. Hi, Esther. Who might you be? Well, there she is. <laughs> I have no qualms with you, good sir lady. Anyway, I don't need to bring that in. It's so annoying. They need to bring the bills all the way in and then when they pay them, they can do it uh, outside. So bills are now, since I have a mod, it's not going to be what the rent said it's going to be. It's 213 a day. And I do believe that's five days a week. And that actually sums up. So Krista should be able to save about a, a thousand simoleons a week. She just got a promotion. So she's going to be able to put away some more money now. After she talks to this lady. Where are you? Oh, someone is calling too. Aren't we getting along fabulously? Not. <laughs> hey, wait. Who's calling? Oh, the professor is calling her. Yeah, she does want to have a good relationship with him, but I'm, I'm not feeling that she's particularly fond of him in a romantic manner. Oh, I found some new places to hang out at Pleasant City. Do you want to meet me there? Sure. Like, why not? She's got to take care of the monies. So where are we going to go? Uh, maybe we go there. Maybe we go to H&M and buy some clothes. Krista is wearing the maternity clothes for some reason. She usually don't. Oh, I hope she will have time to do this. Then hurry up now <laughs> and go to the cab. It's waiting. Hey, come on. Oh, elevator. It's fabulous. There we go. Run the last bit. <laughs> I do have a mod that makes uh, Sims able to wear the normal clothes while they're pregnant. And um, so I, I thought if we go to the clothing store, we could switch to them. Everything in here is obviously from the H&M. Um, I don't know if it was a stuff pack. I think so. It's pretty cool that it came with this really well well built lot. <laughs> too. Oh, hello. Oh, he brought more friends. Okay. Hello. Who are you, Marie? Oh, right. He likes her too. Who's farting hearts? I don't know. She can. Uh, oh, she can't change into normal clothes that's weird but she can plan her everyday outfit all right did my mod stop working is that what she was wearing see she the mesh is there so she could should be able to wear this oh well never mind um she could like buy some more clothes i guess over here buy every day these are some shirts that i made back in the day <laughs> they're very silly i like them Anyway, that's not really Krista's style. She likes red. Um, I don't know if this is too youthful for her. Oh, definitely not that. See, this is the shirt that she already owns. Oh, maybe maybe this one. I like that. Maybe a skirt to that. Oh, th this is this is a nice look. 
Let's have this. She does have the money, but I don't know if she should spend it. <laughs> and also when the baby comes, she will be doing a tax deduction. So and since she lives in an apartment, she doesn't pay a real estate tax. So that actually means she's gonna receive money from the government. Just like in real life. <laughs> okay. Um, I think she's gonna just do a friendly hug. Because she wants to be best friends forever. She has no romantic bonds right now. She wanna gain a skill point. She needs nothing for work. Still. But she could uh, start practicing speech. Yes. Oh, she's very tired. So she <laughs> I mean, that's probably all we did over here. <gasps> Glenn just walked in. Okay, well, say hello to him and see what happens. Come on. Someone put a plant over here. Weird. That totally wasn't me. <laughs> hello. Oh, okay, yeah, but um, come on. Talk to me, please. She's very tired. She needs to go home. I wonder what, what happens if we try to charm him a little bit. Maybe he'll respond. Oh, maybe the professor will be very upset about that. Well, well, she wants to marry Glenn, so what, what can we do? What is her lifetime wish? Graduate three children from college. Right, okay. She will probably have to adopt children to be able to do that. That's fine. I don't know if this is going terribly good. Oh, and Aaron over here is <laughs> very angry at Katarina. Okay. Yeah, she didn't treat people well either. Oh no, he doesn't want that. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was one of her fears to be rejected. But now she wants to fall in love with him. I don't know if this is going to work. Try to ask him on a date. That's probably going to be horrible. Oh, what is happening now? Why is he running away? He just ran away. Why? why? <laughs> Were you trying to get away from Krista? Like, what is happening? I don't know. Do you want to go on a date with me? No. Yeah, Krista, like when you leave a guy at the altar, like he's gonna be mad at you afterwards. That's not gonna go over well. So, uh, yeah, I don't think you're gonna have much luck. And I think she's gonna need to go home now because <laughs> she, she's like bursting and dying tiredness. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, um,. Unfortunate. But hey, at least she has a bigger apartment now without a toilet. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, that... At least nobody saw it. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, she, that was one of her fears too. Now she wants to give a gift. Uh, but she doesn't have anything that I want her to give away. And we can't buy anything small here. So, I can't do that. Oh and, oh, and what is happening now? Oh, he's playing with her. All right. Oh, at least that relationship didn't go in the pooper. So, oh, he fell in love with her. Okay. All right. Well, that's good, I guess. I think. I don't know. Yeah, go home, Krista. You're falling asleep all over the place. Okay, move. Let me out. Carrying a load here. You can't, like block me so i feel like um things are not going so well for my sims they are trying to get with each other and uh, it's really not working out too well <laughs> so, but hey life right in pc it's the way the cookie crumbles and everything all right krista has uh, arrived <laughs> she apparently brought everyone um yeah uh, that's fine <laughs> The only thing we wonder about now is whether she will make it to the bed before she falls Wee. over. Apparently not. <laughs> so, uh, I think we're gonna leave Krista here, uh, sleeping on the floor, uh, very pregnant, very stinky, very in bad shape. <laughs>
this game is hard. All right, then, uh, well, she is, um, well, she does want a classic dance with a professor at least. Yeah, so I think this is a good place to end. <laughs> it's very bad. Uh, I feel bad for her, uh, but you know, this is the state we are in. Don't forget to push all the buttons down there uh, on YouTube. And uh, until next time, have a super duper time and I'll see you then. Bye! Uh, so this just happened. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> I had stopped recording, it was just speeding through the night and the professor had his first kiss with this lady in front of Krista. Every time I stop recording, something happens. No, he's in love with her. I don't, yep, bye.